I'm Phil Kretzarik. Um, I'm an art professor at Carroll University, and last year we had this wonderful show of Eddie Daniels' work, which stems way back from uh, the Urban Wilderness Project he did, that he's been working on eight, nine years probably since he started. When he was doing that, he came upon um, orange construction fences in the Navani River Valley, and uh, he showed those at Carroll University. Uh, I asked Eddie if he would mind collaborating with me on this project because of the orange fences. And he agreed to do our submission for it. And luckily we were accepted for the uh, exhibition we now have. Which is called Inside Outside and we there was an exhibition, uh, the first oh. installation was over the summer so we're the second in a series that's going to go all summer called Inside Outside. Uh, that the Linden has sponsored, and I was very happy to be invited by Phil and then accepted by the Linden to put in these fences and ladders. Uh, it was Phil's idea to come up with something that went along with the theme of construction fences, and we talked about it and came up with the, the ladders that are non-functional in contrast to the fences, which are meant to evoke the idea that they are still functional, even though here they, they aren't technically functional, but uh, they're meant to be confusing, they're meant to be ambiguous. They're installed, but they aren't really sculptures. They're an aesthetic intrusion into the landscape and into the gardens, and they are meant to contrast with the ladders, which are sculptures. So we haven't named the sites that we have installed the fences and the ladders separately. The, the entire, it, it's all one installation and we've titled it Under Construction. Uh, this is a little ravine area which uh, Polly Morris, the director of the Linden Sculpture Garden says people don't use very much and so we were attracted to bringing people down into the natural, this little natural ravine and so we put in some fences down here and two gates, one at either side, made out of ladders. I was delighted to have uh, this spot at the end of the walkway through the garden area because of the Linda Howard sculptures that's in the background. The pieces that I have in the gallery are not unlike hers. I'm sure she was an influence upon my work when I made the small architectural models that were there. This was an idea that we had when we, we came to tour the grounds, uh, that we create a kind of special place for one of Phil's ladder sculptures by isolating the traffic pattern that people would normally take to come through uh, the tours that they take of the permanent collection. So coming over this bridge, we created a kind of cul-de-sac that separates this and, and makes forces you to pay attention to the sculpture in the center. Uh, Phil can tell you a little bit about the ladder. And we picked this particular ladder out because of its uh, angle going up to the sky. And the idea is that there is no escape for the intent was from the cul-de-sac. You'd have to go back, but of course you, uh, the ladder can, you can climb up to the sky.